Alright guys, welcome to the final game of the season here today in more Pairs 5 Master League. It is a rainy final day to the season. How about that? That's a bit different, I guess. Um, yeah, Chelsea is the opposition today. We're away, Stamford Bridge. I'm pretty sure we played away at Stamford Bridge. Was it last season? No, not last season. Season before, I think. I want to say that. Um... But yeah, we are going out here with the intention to try and help Babel get two goals. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, it's quite big for the... Uh, well, it's a big day is what I meant to say for the race for Europe uh, between Tottenham, Bolton and Aston Villa. So um, we'll be keeping an eye on that at the end of the episode. We'll be going through all the stats today. Torres and Babel are up front together today. Not such a great season for Torres. He has scored a few goals here and there. Not the most impressive season he's ever had, though. Um, yeah, we've got Marshall in goal. I believe we've got Maldini and Cannavara at the back. Clichy, Cafu, Mascherano's in there. Iniesta, Gerard, Mafio today. So, yeah, we could have put other players in there, but we went with that team today. Referee is Frank Zerma, and we're off to go. Let's do it. Two goals for Babel. Can it be done? 90 minutes to secure it. Doesn't matter if he doesn't, but would be very nice. Very nice indeed, guys. What a season. I can't believe it's at an end already. That's insane. It felt like only a few months ago. Like, we, we, we were just starting this season up, and now we're at the end already. It's crazy. What will happen next? You know, the summer is upon us. And... Um, we will be uh, looking into transfers come the next season and, and all sorts. It'll be our 10th season we're going into, guys. It's crazy. And Marshall will get there just. Oh. Well, really well done to Marshall there. It was debatable if he went for that. He did. He got away with it. Here's Cafu. Here's Steven Gerrard. Gerrard puts Torres in. It's Torres. It's... Oh, he's missed! Oh my gosh. That'd have been it. That'd have been the 29th right there. Straight away. Here's Clichy. It's Maldini. Cafu. Oh, Gerard's lost the ball there. And it's gone out to Reina, who once played for us. What a legend. What a legend, guys. And that is going out to Marshall inside his box. He will pick that up nicely. Cafu. Maldini. Here's Cannavaro. Here's Clichy. Here's Mafior. Can he get something going here? Apparently not. Oh, it's Mafior. Oh, he can't do anything there. Here is Babel. It's Babel! Oh, he's got it! It's number 29! Oh, he's one away from the 30. And it's an early, early goal as well. It's put through Reina, that one. Did it go under his legs? Let's have a look. Well, the Chelsea fans don't like that one. Oh, it's gone underneath him. He had to aim for that side of the goal, didn't he? It wasn't too far away from Reina, but he had to do what he had to do there. Oh, Reina could have done better. To be fair, he could have done better, guys. Here's Nuri Sahin, once played for us. Glenn Johnson here. Once beaten very easily by uh, Schwartz in Season 2. <laughs> Always uh, remind you about that one. Here's Ryan Babel. It's Clichy. Mafio. Steven Gerrard here. And, oh, It's booted up the field. Maldini, Clichy here. Finds Cannavaro. Finds Mafio. Finds Iniesta. Finds Mafio's effort. Oh. I think Babel was running in there, to be fair. Oh, come on. He's got to get it, man. It'll be so disappointing if he doesn't. It really will be disappointing. He's one away. 
Just one. And, oh, Marshall Alert again. Is Iniesta. It's Babel. Is he onside? That's the question. He's not. Oh, oh, come on. That looked on. It looked on. Is Iniesta. Is Babel. Oh, he's trying to put it over to Fernando Torres there, but he doesn't do that. you got to remember, though, I mean, it's like... It doesn't matter to us because we've already won the league and everything, but, and you know, it is a team game, but <laughs> today it's just a babble day, <laughs> pretty much like the Newcastle game was. Here he is. Ah, oh, denied the 30th. Oh, Reina's keeping it out, but how, for how long? Ah, oh, it's not in there because Niri Sahin is in the way. Here's Cafu, here's Gerard, here's Mafia. We've got some good possession, but can't quite do anything with it currently. It's Mafia. It's back with Iniesta. It's Cannavaro, Mascherano, Gerard. And here it is. Is it? Ah, oh, he was running in at the back post, was Babel. Oh, he's just offside, is Torres. Oh my gosh. It's a waiting game. And here come Chelsea. It's Carlton Cole. He's gone out to... Oh, what a tackle by Mafia there. It went out to Garcia. Nedved. Into the box. Away. Of course, we want to win every game we can, but... Oh, oh, just away there by Marshall. Hasn't had a whole lot to do to do, apart from pick the ball up a couple of times. And here's Mafia, and here come Liverpool. It's an offside by Torres. He needs to... <laughs> he needs... He, trying to get him to stop running for it, else it was going to be an offside. But, um, yeah, this, what's happened now? <laughs> what's happened now is the question. Is this it? No, it's not. <laughs> We're having fun. We're having fun. I was about to say in the sun, but it's not sunny today. Usually it sort of is on the last day. Anyway, that is uh, half time. Yeah, not bad. We had plenty of chances there. Unlucky not to get a second. Let's keep going. Let's do it. Well, I don't see a reason to take anyone off. I think we're fine as we are, honestly. Here is Babel. Oh, here's Cafu. Steven Gerrard here. Oh, header there is not connected by uh, anyone. Oh, that's a bad giveaway by Mafia. Here's Gerrard. He's taken it back. It's Mafia again. What a player, Mafia. He came here and he scored a headed goal in the Champions League earlier this season. And, oh, Torres didn't quite do what he had to do there. Here's Duff. It's out wide. Oh, Maldini there with the uh, tackle in. And Cafu comes across and deals with it. Oh, nicely done. Here's Gerard. It's going over to Babel. Can he find it? Oh, not to be. It's a good, uh, it's good effort. It's a good effort. There's a. Oh, there's still a chance for Liverpool here. Here's Steven Gerrard again. It's Cafu. It's Gerrard. He's got to swing it over. Jeremy is coming on for Luis Garcia here.
And Babel. Ah! I can't believe it. <laughs> I thought it was on. Oh, it was so close. The ball was in the net and the flag was up. Oh my gosh, he's got half hour to score his final 30th league goal. To sit. Well, it might not be his final even. It could even be, um, he could even get a few more if he's very lucky. But, oh my god, that's heartbreaking. And, and... I don't believe it! Oh my gosh! It's been on a plate quite a few times. Come on! Give Babel his fair tiff. That's all I care about today. I wanna, and I want to see how well Bolton do. <laughs> like, can they make Europe? I don't know. They 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 were playing dirty but last time we played them, so I kinda don't want Bolton to make Europe anymore now. <laughs> you know? Great season for them. To go from like relegation to that, pretty uh pretty good. Here's Jeremy. Out wide. Oh Maldini's there, what a legend. Oh, that's denied, but that's going to be a goal kick. Couple of substitutions. Torres is going to come off, and uh, Awusu is going to come on. Schneider on for Mafio. Mafio's had a good game. Going to rest him up. Um, won't take him off early. End his season early is what I guess I meant to say there. Um, he, he doesn't need resting, let's face it. You don't need resting when it comes down to the final game. Uh, I, mean, I mean, potential injuries could lead on... You know, in like real life, I don't think in this game a, a, an injury does the, a, does an injury carry on to the the next season if it's like you know like a serious injury where they're out for like ten weeks or something. I'm not even sure. It's never happened to me. I don't wish to find that out today either. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. We'd have eight weeks of preseason sort of anywhere, but yeah. Gerard, he's got to go for Babel's head. There's no choice. <laughs> There's no choice. He's gone over and everyone. Here's Iniesta. Ah, Jeremy now. Here's Nedved. Cannavaro in the right place at the right time. And is that going to stay in? It might just. It's got to be the corner. And that's... Okay, it is going to make Babel's head. It was really... Why? I don't... We just... This game works in the way that, like, it, wherever the players are, they're just kind of there. You know, like, wherever they are on on, on the free kick or the, or the corner or whatever. It's uh, it's quite interesting, to be to be honest. It doesn't, like, automatically set them up in a set way, if that makes sense. Jeremy, oh, it's gone through to Good Johnson. Oh, oh, wow, wowie indeed. Not much time left now. Chelsea have pretty much got to go for it. It's offside by Babel. Oh dear. Nope. No, nope, that's in. That's 1-1. One, one. Oh, dear. So, Babel doesn't look like he's going to get his goal. And we've conceded. Right at the end of the game here. Like, 85th minute or whatever it is now. Oh, dear. That's, that's just unfortunate, isn't it? It really is. Oh, Cannavaro's been taken off the ball by Gajonson there. That's what's let us down. Uh, 
Unbelievable, Jeff. Johnson, well, we don't want to lose the game now, potentially. And that's going to be ours. Ronaldo on for Iniesta, final sub of the season. Don't know, a lot of talk of, of maybe getting rid of Ronaldo. I don't think that'll happen, though. <laughs> I, I don't think. Uh, Nuri Sahin, former teammate of Gerard there, bringing him back up. Old friends. <laughs> no, I think that's going to be the game right here. It doesn't look like we're going to get the ball back. Marshall's out of the goal. Oh, boy. Final kicks of the game here. Could it be it? No, it won't be. That's it. Babel didn't get it. Lesson learned. You don't always get what you want in life, guys. And uh, a 1-1 draw to end off the season. Not the most fabulous of results, is it? But a good season nonetheless. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That'll just spare him on to do even better next time. I mean, uh, to be honest, I do take the blame because obviously we didn't play him in enough games this season. Like, he sort of played at the start, had this massive kind of break, then played him again sort of midway through. Then he had a bit of a break coming on, I think, as a sub here and there, wasn't he? Or something. You know, if we'd have played him a little bit more, he would have gotten it, wouldn't he? So, uh, but yeah, still uh, exciting. Any estimate of the match today? I agree with that. He was the best out there, in my opinion. Um, unfortunate that we conceded through that good Johnson goal. But hey ho, that's how it goes. Let's have a look at the uh, end of season stuff. Well, before we do any of that, though, we got a league ranking announcement. So uh, this is how it is. Uh, to start off, though, with the um, league, well, the league slash team ranking is what I mean. Uh, the the league ranking finished with Premier League on 182 points, Syria A was 139 in second, League 4 was on 107 in third, and the Spanish League was on 80 uh, in fourth. This is how it finishes uh, this season. We're on 159 here. Manchester United second on 91, followed by Juventus in third, Chelsea fourth, Ajax fifth. Uh, Inter and AC Milan occupy six each because they're on 75. Eighth is um, Barcelona and Real Madrid. For 73 each and Newcastle are 10th so that's your top 10 uh, Arsenal just sitting outside that um, on 63 same with AS Roma they're both 11 oh so is Bayern Munich uh, we United are down to 14th there on 61 Spares are 15th uh, Aston Villa 20th there moving down a little bit anything standing out West Brom there 25th not doing bad Birmingham on 41 there uh, Everton 33, Celtic 39, and we're about to see who's uh, getting promoted uh, for next season as well, so that's something to look forward to. Sunderland, it looks like the second division teams have all done pretty well. Well, they're all doing pretty well, I should say. Portsmouth, uh, 32, 51st position. Pez United are up there. Remember when Pez United were in the top division that season? And they went down on, like, the last day. That was so unfortunate. Cagliari, uh, 72nd, 19 points. Um, Porto, man. Wow. 2866 position. What's going on? Fulham. Uh, our uh, 60 bed there. Uh, 29 points. So, yeah, that is that. We've got some retired player data here then, which is what happens at the end of each season. Giggs is retiring from Manchester United. Vieri, it was 40. Deco, Zanetti, Beckham, given for Newcastle. Um... Galas for Chelsea, Viduka, Mendieta Cruz, uh, Danielson, Ismail, Victor, Andrew, you better silver there. Uh, Phil Neville, uh, anything else, anything else of noticeable stuff. Uh, Jorginho there, um, Porto, so yeah, Mills of uh, Manchester City, <laughs> 36 at this point. Sorensen there as well of uh, Aston Villa, so yeah. Goodbye to all these players. Oh, Lee there as well. Tottenham. Greveson of, of uh, uh, Real Madrid. So, yeah. So, there it is, guys. As you can see, Wigan and Fulham are down, which we already knew about. Um, 
but Birmingham and Celtic are back up. So yeah, this is like, uh, what was it, season four all over again, I believe, next season. Then we got Celtic to play once more. Birmingham are back up. All right, guys, so it was time to select pre-season games for uh, next season. Uh, now, usually I let you guys vote on this, but I haven't done that again this year. Um, I've decided just to go ahead and pick some teams that I think um, I'd like to play myself. So I'm going to do that. But um, as you can see here, my first one, I've gone with Portsmouth. We haven't played them in quite a while. I think the last time they were in the the top division was season two. And we haven't played them in ages, I don't believe. Um, uh, at least, I believe we haven't played them in ages. I think we played like Sunderland uh, a few seasons ago and stuff like that. I can't remember. But like, yeah, I've gone with that because why not? All of these games will be pretty much played away. Um, maybe like these ones here, like the African All-Stars. I've decided to go with African All-Stars. We haven't played them in a while, I don't believe either. Um, I've gone with South American All-Stars as well. Uh, we've gone with Fiorentina because I can't remember if we've played this Fiorentina before. I honestly can't remember. I don't think we have, have we? Uh, I was gonna go. I was almost gonna go for where are they? I was gonna go for Verona because they were pretty good in the Champions League this season, but decided not to. We've gone with Getafe as well because I don't think we've played them either. So just trying to maybe go for a few different teams here. I've gone with Fenerbahce um, just because we played them before, but I sort of want to play them again. I don't know, just something a bit different. I was thinking about PSV potentially. But I kind of want to, I don't know, branch out a little bit. So, you know, get a mixture. We've got an English team. We've got a Turkish team. We've got two um, world teams here. We've got Getafe. We've got Fiorentina. Yeah, I think that's a diff diff little bit different. Uh, we've got Newcastle because they won the UEFA Cup. So, we're going to be playing them uh, in the what would be the Super Cup. And we've got Manchester United because they came second in the league. So that would be the Charity Shield, and then obviously the season will start. So we usually do it that way. Uh, so those are the six sort of random picks for this year, I guess. Maybe next year we'll get back to doing votes or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm going to go with that. The moment you've been waiting for, though, is here. And uh, this is what it looks like on the final game of the season. So everything, for whatever reason, is reversed. So Manchester United were actually away at West Brom. Like we were away at Chelsea, we drew 1-1. Manchester United won at West Brom 2-1. Everton lose at Middlesbrough 1-0. We United uh, won at Blackburn. Uh, won at home, sorry, um, against Blackburn 3-0. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it, it, it does get confusing. Uh, Spares, they're away at Newcastle. They lost 3-2 in the end. Villa won 2-0 against Fulham. They were at home for that one. Uh, Rangers won away at Wigan 1-0 and Bolton drew at home to Arsenal 1-1. Let's look at the league table. These are the final standings and Bolton agonisingly lose out on Europe on the last game. That is so unfortunate. It really is. Aston Villa take the uh, sixth spot this season. Well played to them, but Bolton, was it too much to ask for, guys? You know, they had a good season. They'd just been promoted to get into Europe on, on the first season back in the top flight. It's a lot to ask for, isn't it? Um, for us, meanwhile, we won 26 games. We lost two, and we drew two. That, that uh, draw today was one of the two draws uh, this season. Um, against Chelsea, we scored 90, we let in 10. Well, I mean, when you put it that way, do we really need to bother, you know, adding to the defence? <laughs> We've done pretty well there. Um, a shame. Uh, I, I mean, you could put it down to experience, but we, we put Maldini in there, we put Cannavaro in there today, because to get them experience, it's a, it's a pointless game for us, so why not? Why, you know, you play against a team like Chelsea, you know, it's great experience for them. We United have finished up in third. Arsenal in fourth. They missed out on Europe last season. Not this time round. They've made sure of it this time. Chelsea finishing in fifth on a measly 49 points. When you think they were on like, I don't know, high 70s back in season four or something like that. They were, they beat us to the league um, title that season. Um, so yeah, uh, Bolton seven. They won twelve games, drawn drawn seven, lost eleven, scored forty six, let in fifty two. Though that's their downfall there. Whereas uh, Aston Villa conceded forty six but scored fifty one, so plus difference for the golds. Uh, Spares lost today against Newcastle. If they had won, that wouldn't have been enough. They would have finished on forty two 
points, so uh, Spurs finish up in eighth. Moving down to the bottom, a uh, pretty sort of decent season for West Brom again. Rangers look like they've done better, weren't they? Like lagging near the bottom, I think, last season. Uh, Newcastle finish up in ninth, pretty average for them. I think they didn't they get in, yeah, they got into Europe last season, Newcastle, not this season though. Um, so yeah, tenth for Rangers. Uh, Blackburn finish up in twelfth. Middlesbrough thirteenth. Everton finish in a fourteenth position. It's one above relegation. They are eight points ahead of Wigan and Fulham in the end there, but uh, not good enough for Fulham or Wigan. Uh, conceded fifty-eight, most in the league this season by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, um, fifty-six conceded for Wigan. Just simply not good enough. 20 losses each. 1-5, drawn 5. So, yeah. Not a great season for Everton, though, either. Looking at the Spanish league, we got Racing Santander that uh, finished up in 15th and Osasuna at the bottom there. They don't get relegated, so it doesn't matter. Villarreal are the champions of Spain. Look at that. Scored 60, conceded 30, goal difference of plus 30. Six, only 64 points. I mean, you compare that to us. Well, Manchester United took 64 there, didn't they? Manchester United's goal difference was also 30 there. They would have done it on goal scored in the end because they had 66 to the <laughs> Villarreal's uh, 60. But yeah, look at that. Uh, Real Madrid finish up in third there. I mean, they went a million miles from the top. Barcelona second. Uh, Sevilla in fourth. Uh, Deportiva in fifth. Espanyol sixth. Uh, on the last day, Espanyol took the European spot and Atletico are not in Europe next season. Oh, wow. Lots happening on this final day. Syria are here. Che oh, wow. What? Verona 15th? What's happened? They were in Europe last season, which means they must have made the top six last season, and now they're in 15th. What? This is why it's crazy, guys. Cagliari, obviously, bottom, because, well, they were bottom at the um, at, at, at the uh, ranking, wasn't there? So, yeah, there's that. We're moving to, up to the top, it, it's going to be AC Melangia here, with Juventus sitting in second. We've got AS, AS Roma third. Uh, Inter Milan 4th, Parma 5th, Fiorentina 6th, uh, Lazio just missing out there, so yeah. Uh, and League 4, Ajax, uh, I think, didn't we say they were already like pretty much champions the other week? So uh, yeah, when we played them in that semi-final, that epic semi-final second leg in the Champions League. Uh, Bayern sitting a second, it's usually Ajax and Bayern going for the title each year, so yeah. PSV sitting third, Benfica fourth, and Alex done pretty well there, fifth. Stuttgart six, Leon missing out. Oh, they were five points off getting into Europe in the end. Uh, Dortmund were eighth there. Uh, Paris fifteenth, Club Bruges sixteenth. Fenerbahce were tenth there, who we're going to be playing. Galatasaray twelfth, uh, Olympiakos is eleventh. Marseille was ninth, by the way. Uh, Porto thirteenth, Panathinaikos fourteenth. So here are the uh, player ratings for the season. Win average uh, was eighty six point six six percent for us this season. Uh, not our best season ever, uh, because I believe we were beaten in a, a few, we beat that a few seasons ago, I believe, but this is what sort of happened here. Uh, Rooney got five goals for himself this season, 6.7 rating, again, he didn't play a lot, a lot of games, but yeah, uh, Ronald Deere just with the one league goal this season, I believe, there. <laughs> uh, Wusu six, really? Okay, I, I, you know, three assists on that as well. Looks to be good for half a season. That's not too bad when you consider he's mostly kind of like a substitute player. Uh, just the one assist for Schneider. Um, Torres with just eight goals this season. Not good. Not good, man. Three assists as well. Could be on his way out. Schwartz, just two goals. Nothing. Nothing for assists. Two goals for Joe Cole. Shmizu got three. Fabregas with a one goal, but four assists. He's more of an assisted than a scorer, is Fabregas. Uh, Mascherano, who scored one. Clichy, nothing with a defender, isn't he? Mafio scored a couple of goals and assisted three. Uh, 14 for Mutu. One, ass one assist for Mutu this season. Really? Five for Babel, 29 goals, 7.1. In fact, Fabregas had a higher rating there, but then again, it depends on how many goals, uh, how many games are played. Uh, Ronaldo scored six goals and resisted eight this season. 
I mean, A, assist is not too bad considering, you know, he's like played in the midfield mostly. Uh, I mean, he's done better than Gerard there. But then again, Gerard's probably had more game time. Uh, Iniesta, uh, seven goals for him, five assists. We are getting rid of him. He's just too good. Dijon, first season here, one assist. That was it. Again, defensive midfield duties mostly for him. I'm not expecting him to score. Reese uh, with just the one assist there. Didn't get a league goal this season. This season did Reese. Neither did uh, Sergio Ramos, but he got a couple of assists. Uh, nothing for these guys. And of course, the keeper, neither. So, uh, yeah. So for the Premier League, this is what the assists rankings look like. So Cons Duff and Arache, or Arachi, or whatever you want to call him for Manchester United, all got top. So, yeah, Ronaldo for us got eight um, and was seventh position, joint seventh. So, yeah. But, I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, you, you, when you you think of Ronaldo as a goal scorer, but for us, we're playing him in the midfield. You want him to obviously get assists and stuff from midfield. He's got eight. That's not bad. He's two off top. When you consider the rest of the league, you know, the the, the top in the in the league this season was 10. Yeah, I mean, so he's not done really as bad as you think. The goal scoring chart for the race for the Golden Boot. Well, we know who's won it already, but we're going to have a look at who else is on here. So we got um, Wagner Love there for We United, um, nine with Edlington for West Brom. Cons has got nine as well. So, yeah, that's why uh, We United have been doing pretty well, haven't they? Because of those goals. Um, Owen there with nine for Newcastle, along with John for Fulham with nine. See, John has put in a few goals there but not enough to keep Fulham up Rubinho for Arsenal scored 10 Etta for Blackburn has scored 10 Drogba for Chelsea scored 11 Tardelli for Aston Villa scored 11 Cruyff for We United another one there 13 for him not bad Vast here for Bolton has scored 13 that's why they've been doing so well we got Barros there for Aston Villa 14 Mutu for us also 14 not his best season but still pretty damn good for 35 years of age. You have to agree. Smith for Manchester United, 18. Palm, 19 for Arsenal. But Brian Babel for us, 29. He's 10 ahead of Palm there. Couldn't make the 30. Agonising that he couldn't make the 30. Oh, well. Well, here are some of the stats for the Cups and whatnot. I'm not going to bore you too much with this. I'm just going to kind of skim through it a little bit here. We've got Van Dyke there for Newcastle in the away for Cup Assist with two. <laughs> um, Zidane there for, with two for Real Madrid. Top was Victor of Deportiva. Top goal scorers was uh, Michael Owen for Newcastle with four there. Scaloni for Deportiva with three. Lu oh, Lupoli at Bayern got three. Oh, I'm glad that he's doing well. I miss him, man. I miss him. Yeah, I mean, when you've got a player and you let him go and you miss him. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Looking at the FA Cup for goals here, we have got uh, Wayne Rooney for us, who has got, well, top position with a few players there. Giladine uh, De Cassi, I want to say, and uh, Lampard, all with three. Schwartz there, got a couple. Moves to Ronaldinho, got a couple. Uh, Fernando Torres, yeah. Jeremy there at the bottom for... Uh, Chelsea. Uh, assist Mutu with three. Miller, Duff, uh, Gorkov there for Manchester United with a couple. Uh, Lampard up there. Torres, Risa, you know, a lot of ones. So assists for the Champions League here. Again, not going to bore you too much. we got a few on there. we got Joe Cole, Rooney and Gerard there. we got Jeremy of um, We United with three there. So uh, not bad. For a side back, you filled there also with Tottenham, who's got three. Uh, Mutu for us has got three, but Ardals of Juventus has got five assists, so well done there. And for goals, Mutu with the most Champions League goals, he's got nine there. So overall, that's that's not bad uh, because he's got 14 in the league. He's got nine in the Champions League as Mutu. Uh, what what else did he get? Uh, a, a cup. He's put in a couple there. Um, so, you know, he, he's not done bad overall as Mutu, to be honest. You know what I mean? He's, he's hit nearly 30 goals this season, to be fair to him. Um, so, yeah, anyway, we're looking back. Uh, we've got Torres sitting in second there. Uh, Schwartz has scored three in the Champions League. I don't remember that. Wusu's got three. Um, 
you know, and, and that's it. That's it. Anyway, we're going to go through the development sheet here. Again, I, I want to keep it brief because this these videos drag on very long when I go through all the stats at the end of the season. But we've got Czech here. Um, he's improved in a lot of stats there since joining. Again, if you want to look at any of these, just pause the video on the player you want and then just look at it from there because I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, Puyol's stamina has gone down there. His jump's gone down, but he's still strong. You know what I mean? He's still playing in this team. His stamina... Oh, his stamina is maybe becoming a problem, but I don't think we'll get rid of him. I think he'll be he'll be staying with us even at 35 and moving on to 36. Same as uh, Mutu. He'll be 36. He'll be staying with us. He's got to be. Um, Heitinger has improved since uh, joining the club. Um quite drastically he's been with us and then he's gone and then we've bought him back so i think does it go from when he was originally bought i think it might do there's no way he's improved that much this season surely not <laughs> anyway um yeah ramos look at this just look at that you know what i don't need to say anything about that Risa, his shot power has gone down by four uh, but everything else is still up so it's not bad at all. Dijong has improved. Um, when he joined, he looked really good and he's just gotten that slightly bit better over the season. Gerard's stamina has gone down to a 93. He's starting to slow down a bit. Um, pass speed has gone down slightly, but still always good. Iniesta, he just seems to be getting better and better. Again, not even going to explain on that one. Just pause and look at it. Uh, Ronaldo, I mean, everything might as well be 9999999999 there. <laughs> um, that his attack has gone up by six. Interesting there. Teamwork has gone up by six as well. Uh, Ryan Babel, when he joined, uh, I mean, his attack was 88. It's gone up to 92. Uh, stamina has gone up by four. That's good. Top speed. I mean, he's gotten faster. He's quicker now. He's getting better. He's 26. Bill will be 27 next season. He's going to improve even more over the next few years. So, yeah. Uh, Mutu's acceleration has gone down. And that's it. I mean, we've had him years and years. Oh, he's 34. I thought he was 35 for some reason. No, whatever. But still, he's always good. Buffon has gone down. <sighs> to be honest, he's had some dodgy games. So I, will, I will admit, he's pulled off some good saves, but he's had some dodgy games, to be honest. Um, I think it, most notably was it the Ajax game. Uh, the first leg, uh, we won't speak of it, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can replace him with someone else in the summer. You never know. We could trade him off. Let's see what happens. Uh, Cannavaro improved. Uh, I mean, his defense has gone up by eight. That guy is definitely getting better and better as it goes on. He's only 20 years of age, so very nice. Company has gotten better on everything there. Of course, apart from the keeper skills, because he's not a keeper. Uh, Mafio, uh, well, what do I say about this guy? He's just fantastic. You know what I mean? You ask him to do a job, he does it. He stays out of trouble. Stays out of trouble a bit. Uh, Kalishi's actually gone down on his top speed and acceleration. That's a little bit concerning. Uh, dribble speed has gone down as well. Hmm, he's 28, going to be 29 next season. Hmm, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. We'll keep an eye on it. That's all I'll say for now. Mascherano gone up on everything. He is going to be 30 next season. You know what I mean? We need to start thinking about replacing some players here and there. Um, but, you know, it's a question for another time over the eight weeks of summer. Fabregas, brilliant as always. Stamina's gone up to a 95 now. Wow. You know what I mean? You could even get rid of Mascherano and start to play Fabregas. Well, cause like Kaiser would get more games. Dijon could play DMF if we wanted him to, which he has been. Shimizu, again, fantastic. Just keeps getting better and better. Look at the guy. When he joined. Look at that. When he joined. Wow. Anyway, uh, Joe Cole uh, has gone up uh, on quite a lot of things. His dribble accuracy has gone down. Uh, and so is his speed. But other than that, he's been great this season. We've played him more, I think, than Ronaldo, haven't we? Technique has gone down by one as well. Schwartz, again, another one of these that I'm not sure about. His balance has gone down, his response has gone down, and his shot power has gone down. That's a little concerning. I thought he was one of these that might just get better and better. Maybe something to do with the fact that we just don't play him enough. You know, all up for debate. There's a million and one things you could say. Torres looked fantastic when he joined, has gotten better and better. Got to be 30 next season. Not had the best season, though. Not sure about him. Schneider, 
well, he's improved by, I think, two on everything there at, at the age of 29, going to be 30 next season. Hmm. You know, maybe we do get rid of a midfielder, you know. Motta, well, he was sort of a last-minute signing from Newcastle. He hasn't played an awful lot of games, and he didn't look fabulous, which is why he kind of didn't play a lot of games. You might argue he's one that's got to go, or if we did get rid of Clichy, maybe Motta steps in. His stamina is 95. What's Clichy? He's 93. So we signed Clichy based on his good stamina and his speed and stuff. Hmm. Not too sure about that. Not too sure. Maybe put him up for transfer and see what comes in. Cafu has improved on everything. He never really puts a foot wrong, Cafu. He's improved on everything there. Stamina's got up to a 92. He's one for the future. Not getting rid of him. 21 years of age. Roberto Carlos has improved um, quite drastically there. Uh, on everything um, again one that we're trying to slowly build for the future Kaiser here has improved on every look at those stats with the 95s there Whew. Technique has gone up by 12 holy hell teamwork has gone up by 12 jeez man calm down Kai. look his attack has gone up to 95 you know we need to stop putting him in defensive positions and getting forward don't we <laughs> top speed 95 yeah he's got he's gonna have to start going forward i reckon he's classed as a center midfield can play defensive can go forward very good player uh Awusu has improved a little bit there since joining not bad at all got i ain't got a bad word to say about him we've given him a job in whatever game he's played in and he's done done us proud he's done pretty well to be fair Ronaldinho has gone down on a lot of things there he's still with us why he's still with us I don't know he just ends up staying every year doesn't he I'm not gonna say any more about it uh Marshall has gone up on keeper skills uh in fact he's gone up on everything there everything has is improved there's response has got up to a 97 his balance is a 95 he's looking excellent to be fair Rooney I mean Jesus Christ look at this <laughs> <laughs> it's like reds across the board and you think how is he doing so bad with us again another one up for debate is be 28 next season Maldini has improved there on a few things so that's good to see I think he was signed no we signed him last summer didn't we he's got a decent amount of time he has he, he's got a lot to learn it feels like he's 24 but he still feels like he's got a lot to learn if he's got to get a regular place in the team you know like after we all goes or whatever uh and that's all i'm gonna say that's my ramble over if you guys have thoughts on any of these players you know pause it let me know so uh point rankings let's get this one out of the way it looks like it's just mostly retired players there again if you just want to quickly check these just pause the video again and just uh go for it but the only one that's still playing there is barfez for uh marseille and he's gone a 6.81 layman there 2008 van der sar uh, in fed there from 2008 told 2009 khan from 2007 these are when they retired and the point rankings they had so it's stuck like that so their their best ratings have stuck uh going forward we've got um Rumin Rumanish Rumine nice i want to say i don't know 6.69 hey hey he is number one denilson there from 2013 is 6.61 uh, we got Mancini of Barcelona, 6.60. We got Larson of 2008 is still up there uh, on 6.59. So is Lopez on 6.59 of uh, 2010. So, yeah. Midfielders, we've got uh, Gullit there uh, of AC Milan on 6.67. We got Ardals, who put a lot of assists together this season, has done really well. He's on a 6.40. And um, Bretner there of Juventus is also on a 6.49. So, uh, very well done. Oh, also AC Milan 6.49 with Schnellinger. Nedved of 2008 is still on there in fifth position with a 6.46. Defenders. Maldini. That's retired Maldini, not us. That's when he, he, he retired in the first season at a 6.67. Turam of 2008 is still up there at a 6.49. Um, Helovic uh, of 2006 is still up there. Oh, that's 6.45. Carboni uh, of 2005, first season, uh, 6.42. And Lizarazu, I want to say, of Bayern is 6.38 for defenders. So, yeah, that's your top players. I sort of forgot that we are in 2013, like, season here kind of thing. I think I'm treating this as, like, 12-13 season. That's sort of how I do it. But, um, yeah, 26 wins, two draws two losses scored 90 and conceded um 10 
we compare that against last season, uh, well, we won three more games. We drew seven last season, did we? Wow. I don't remember any of that. We only scored 74, but let in 10. So we let in one less, but managed to score uh, 16 more. So we had a really good season, to be fair. Our win average was a lot better. Um, I mean, 83.33 there back in 2011 season. So, yeah, uh, 2010 was a 93.33. Uh, you know, I think that was like one of the best ones we ever had. Uh, season 4, we don't talk about it. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Uh, so yeah, to be honest, this is one of the seasons that's up there. We haven't done bad. We could always improve, like, but still. Uh, this is what it's looking like for this season overall. Uh, if we go down to Babel, that, like, it just goes... It takes the league goals into effect. It doesn't take everything into effect. Um, but Mutu... Um, did he get, like, nine goals in the Champions League or something? Um... Add that on to the two in the cup uh, is uh, 11 plus 14 in the league. Um, it's 25, so nearly 30 for him this season. Uh, really good, just really good. Player of the season is Babel, obviously. Uh, 7.1 for him. Um, Fabregas had a good, had a decent season. Underrated player, maybe, you might argue. Um, uh, doesn't play every game, but still is pretty good. So, again, that's just a summary of pretty much everything that's happened there this season. Anyway, anyway, guys, this is the all-time assists and goal scorers that are coming up for you now. So, assists to start with. Shevchenko of AC Milan is on 77 in 16th position, that is. We've got Duff of Chelsea, who is 15th on 78. We've got Baptista, who is also with Baraja of 2013, which is now, so he's re just retired. Um, he's on 79 assists there. Ronaldo, for us, has made 80 um, in 10th position. That's with Vicente Valencia, who's also on 80. Or oh, Roberto Carlos is also um, on 80. He retired two years ago. Um, he's in 10th position. Uh, Stankovic there of Inter Milan is on uh, 81, Lampard of Chelsea, 82, Totti and Veron there, uh, Veron of 2012 when he retired, so last year, 83, uh, Van Bommel of Barcelona is on 85, Schneider, um, he was mostly playing at Ajax though, wasn't he? So he got a lot of assists for them, but he's come to us. I think he only got like one assist this season or something crap. Um, 86. Uh, Xavi of AC Milan is on 93. Kaka of AS Roma is on 98. And finally, Deco is still number one. 120 assists. He's retired now. So he's not going to add to that. Um, I don't believe cause it, like, it, it doesn't include the regen onto that. So uh, yeah, Deco will regen now. Interesting. Finally, the goals. This is what you want to see. This is what everyone wants to see. Ronaldo there. If Real Madrid is on 132, you need 132 just to get on the sheet, guys. Vieri, who's retired now, 135. Ryan Babel, this season, has gone up to 136. I didn't realise he had that many. 136. Wow. That's crazy stuff. Um, He's put himself into 14th position. That's really good. I mean, he can build from that as well as the years go on. Ibrahimovic of uh, Juventus, 138. Aymar of Valencia, 138. Drogba of Chelsea, 140. Saviola of Sevilla, 141. Torti and Schwartz are on 144. They're in eighth. That's That just says how good Schwartz is. He's still up there, even though he hasn't really scored that much that, this season. Um, got Thierry Henry of Manchester United on 148. Smith of Manchester United on 154. Cliver of Valencia, 158. Fernando Torres for us. Of course, he was playing at Atletico as well, up to, like, what the, well, the first two seasons, uh, uh, the pre-season of season three. Um, and then he went to us 161 in fourth position. Baird is Michael Owen with 163 goals for Newcastle. Second is Oliveira. He's always up there. He's on 185, and he's still going. You know who's top. It has to be the man, the myth, the legend, the Mutu, with 218, guys. Holy crap. He's beaten. He's gone over 200 now. He's the only player in the Master League to hit over 200 goals currently. Wow. Just wow. He wants to keep going. He wants more. He wants to hit the 250. 
In fact, forget that. He wants the 300. That's how good he is. Just before we go, guys, just before we go and end off this massive video, Ryan Babble did, in fact, score one goal in the Cup this season, which brings his overall total this season to 30. So we can at least give him that. Can't we, right? We have to. Um, he didn't score anything in the Champions League. He did provide one assist. He provided an assist in the... Um, cup as well so yeah we're gonna at least take that ronaldo got one goal in the cup as well uh, a couple of goals here for schwartz torres one for joe cole kaiser even got a goal ronaldinho got a couple there as well so yeah you can check by competition here you can check pretty much any team but we're just gonna look at ours because you know why not uh free free iniesta one for dijon in the champions league he almost made that two with that really close effort at the end of the Ajax game, we got Mafio there, which was away at Chelsea with the one. We got six for Torres, three for Schwartz, one for Schneider, two for Motta when he scored in... I can't remember who it was against. Was it against Inter or someone where he scored two? Or was it um, Verona? I can't remember. We've still got three. Rooney got one. A uh, very poor season for Rooney, but yeah. Overall, Babel did get it in the end. When you when you think about it, you know, if you, if you add the competitions together, he got... Um, Thirty. Um, I think he scored in pre-season a few times. It doesn't really count, but still, he has scored thirty plus goals this season. You can say that if you included pre-season. But that is it, guys. What a season it's been! Thank you for watching the season. I'm not going to ramble too much. Transfers. I don't know about transfers. We'll have a look at them next time when we take on Portsmouth. Join us for a new season next time. We're champions again. Um, some people might say it's boring, it's dull, because you're just winning everything, dude. It's not good, but for me, it's about the other teams. It's about, like, seeing who's going to be relegated, who's going to survive. Are miracles going to happen like they did with Bolton that year? Who's going to meet Europe? Who's going to go where? Who's going to transfer? What's going to happen? You know, that, for me, is what makes it more. You know, it, 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 this whole thing is an experiment, guys. It's it's like a season by season, one game by one game, seeing what happens, and just it, it's just interesting to see. You know, well, winning is the whole part of it, and we are doing that. Let's try and do it again. We're not going to win everything. We are going to lose games. We lost against Blackburn. We lost against where are they? Bolton, back here. You know, and if we lose, I don't cut that out. I keep it in because that's what happens, guys. And that's, that's football for you. That's what happens, guys. Thank you for watching this season. Comment, subscribe, and share, as always, guys. Join us for next season. Well, when next season happens. Take care. See you then.